Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to make an AI agent with N8N website. N8N website provides facilities to make AI agent in a very simple way. So we are going to make AI agent and they provide different tools to make AI agent. And in the next video, we are going to learn how to make this AI agent with Python or we are going to make this AI agent in Python from scratch. We will use Langchain and Langchain tools. So stay connected for that video and in the today's video we will build this with N8N. So let's get started. Now let's search for N8N website. Search N8N. This is the website. And I have already signed in. I have already signed up. So just I will just sign in. So this is the interface of the website and I will go to create workflow. Here you can create your AI agents. So this is the first step of building AI agent. So this is editor section and this is execution and evaluation. We can run, we can implement, we can create AI agent here. So now let's create the first AI agent. Let's add the first step here. Let's add a chat section. So let's, uh, if you want to add this, let's go to back to canvas. This is the chat section. We can run this from here. Let's type something. So this is uh, this chat section, this chat message, create session ID, action and uh, chat message. So this is how it works. This is a first tool and uh, we can add, uh, we can add different input fields and options here. Like uh, we can upload files, we can allow file meme types and response mode. So these many things we can add here. now add the upload file section here in the option menu uh, add file we can allow file uploads so just uh, access this and back to canvas so now we can upload the files from here and let's run this again so our node is executed successfully so we have created our chat message node successfully and now we need to attach AI model or AI agent AI node here so we can chat with our AI model so let's go to this plus icon here are the nodes available like AI AI node here are the different AI models available like we can also add AI agent and these are the models but before adding AI agent we need to add the credentials of the model like the API key there are different uh, AI models available like Google Gemini, Anthropic, OpenAI. There are, are different LLM models available. But we need to add the, before accessing this model, we need to add the API key from their websites. So uh, these are the models available like audio action model, document action model, uh, file action model, and image action model. And if I am choosing, we will use text action model here so this is the text action model of Gemini and here is the credential section we need to add credential of Gemini like uh, API key and then uh, we need to add here then uh, the message and then the model we need to specify the model name like uh, which model we want to choose like flash pro and there are different models available uh, for this purpose i will choose a flashlight model and here is the prompt section we can mention our prompt here so i will not uh, adding prompt right now and there are more options available like system message code execution and number of tokens and number of completions presence penalty output randomness and the temperature and thinking budget so there are different options to explore uh, with the 
uh, with the model and then uh, output content as json we want output as in json format uh, we can only access this node if if this node attach or if this node receiving the input data from any other node like uh, we have implemented a chat message node so the chat message node act as the input information for from this uh, llm node so let's implement let's test this node let's connect this node to this chat message so we have implemented this node this is the simple node section and now let's check this the response let's type the high message so this is connecting with our model and this is the uh, response and this is the response like i am ready what can i do for you so we have make a simple node here like with the chat message and ai model now we need to create an ai agent so let's delete this out and we need to choose we need to choose ai agent now now let's delete this model message model node and i will add ai ai agent node here so let's delete this and go to this plus icon select ai and this is the ai agent we can use so this is the ai agent uh, we can choose chat model memory and tool so let's go to this chat model now there are different models available we have seen and i will choose google gemini chat model so this is the options available uh, i have already mentioned the credentials so and this is the model we will select the model gemini flash 2.5 flash and there are another options like number of tokens so i will choose the sampling temperature and that's it uh, let's go to back to canvas and in the for the memory section so it's look like messy so let's uh, so this is how it's a, it is looking so our ai agent is now connected with llm model now we need to add the memory to remember the remember the previous conversation like uh, we have simple memory of n n memory so no need of credential required so i will use this sample memory so context window length is 5 for this uh, for this context uh, for this memory uh, so we can uh, remember our model will remember five uh, conversation five previous conversation uh, so let's choose this so our context memory we have added the memory now we need to add the two tools here in the tools now i will add a google sheet tool here for reading uh, sheets or excel file or csv data so this is the google sheet tool let's choose this and we need to specify or we need to log in here to connect with our account and go to google sheet account and click on edit icon this here we just need to log in or sign in with google and then we can uh, register or we can authenticate so this is a simple step we can connect our account with this and for gemini model and let's click on edit and here we need to add the api key so we just need to add the api key here then we can add our credential uh, we will get a api key from the website google cloud studio or so this is how we can uh, add credential here to connect with our account and then we can uh, we can access our google sheets or or whatever we have uploaded on our cloud platform so these are the files i have uploaded on my g drive so i can access this like i have data of car price assignment so i will choose this data here and then i will also choose this data here also then there are more options available but uh, let's back to now
now we have attached our sheet tool also now let's attach gmail tool to send the gmail of this sheet report let's search gmail here is also need to login to connect with your login or connect with your credential and now we need to specify the sender email uh, or subject we can add but uh, let's add the email address now and we have also available or we have also this option that uh, let the model define this parameter the so mod model will automatically define this parameter according to the context or according to the cat now we have almost created our ai agent our ai agent is almost ready uh, we have attached all the nodes like model memory tools but uh, our ai agent doesn't know what to do with this excel uh, sheet data so we need to mention the prompt so let me copy a prompt so i have just need to mention the prompt this is the prompt uh, this is a prompt like you are a data analyst assistant and you need to generate a short and detailed summary based on the data so let me copy this prompt from here and let's click on ai agent and this is the system message section and we need to add the prompt here uh, we will get different options from here like in add option like batch processing max iteration uh, return intermediate steps automating so automatically pass through binary images so these are the options available and let i have selected system message and add the prompt here and now let's back to canvas so we have done with the prompting part also and now we can execute this ai agent It's time to run this AI agent. Let's open chat. Let's type hi. So our AI model and memory is running. So let's generate a report. So I have written generate a summary report on the Google sheet data. Let's run it. So our sheet node is run and now our model is running so our sheet node is run the green line shows that and now our model node is running so this is the node this is the summary as we can see this is the short summary uh, the data set details of diverse range of the car models primary gasoline powered sedans so this is the detailed summary about the data set and now we will send this data set to an email address so now send this to email i can do that but uh, i need to provide the receivant email address here so let's uh, add an email address here so this is the email address i have provided and now yes so our email node gmail node is also run now let's check the email and so this is the email and this is the email short summary and detail summary this is the information about the data set like uh, 
and we can check we can check it and match it with the data set whether the information was correct or not okay this is the detail summary and short summary so this is how we can create ai agent with the simple workflow uh, like we have uh, we have attached two notes two tools here like uh, sheet and email tool here uh, but we can uh, use different tools like uh, we can use different tools from here there are lots of tools available we can explore it but uh, uh, but we have limited access of this and we just have 14 days of free trial of n website so we can explore this but they, there are lots of things we can do from here so this is how we can create thank you for watching the video and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and stay connected where in the next video we are going to make this from scratch so bye for now